assalamu alaikum and welcome back this video is all about the grades of sponge structure let's begin as we are familiar with the structure of sponge that it is built around water canal system also known as aqueferous system which constitutes in current pores out current pores water canals and chambers The physiology of sponges is dependent upon the flow of water through the body. The water current is caused by the meeting of flagella of the collar cells, and it is this water flow that accommodates the lack of organs. There are three types of sponges: actinoid, nucleonoid, and cytinoid. The sponges with the simple vast-like structure are called as actinoid sponges. They have the actinoid canal system, which is the simplest amongst all. They are small, only a few centimeter tall. The body is perforated with a large number of incurrent pores for inward flow of water into the sponge seal, as you can see in the diagram here. The sponge seal is the single largest spacious cavity in the actinoid sponges. Sponge seal is lined by conocytes that are flagellated, and it opens outside through a single narrow circular opening known as osculum. Therefore, this structure imposes limitations in size, as if the volume of the sponge seal increases, the flagellated surface area does not increase proportionally. Consequently, a large actinoid sponge would contain more water than its conocytes could differentiate could efficiently move this flow chart demonstrates how the water moves into a sponge the water ingress through ostia into the atrium that is sponge seal and it exits the sponge through osculum that is single opening in actinoid type canal system into the outside environment Cytinoid sponges have cytinoid canal systems which is more complex than actinoid. The cytinoid sponges have pleated body walls in which the flagellated layer is regenerated outward into finger-like projections and increases the surface area. As in the diagram here, you can observe that this flagellated layer is regenerated outward, and these are forming the canals. These canals, which are formed, formed by the Evagination of flagellated layer are termed as radial canal or flagellated canal. The corresponding canals that are formed by the evagination of outer surface, that is pinacoderm, these canals, the canals here, are termed as incurrent canals. Incurrent canals are devoid of conocytes, while the flagellated canals have conocytes. This type of portion is the collar cells, the conocytes. The incurrent canal leads into adjacent radial canals through the minute opening called crossophile, as mentioned in the diagram here. On the other hand, the flagellated or radial canal opens into the central sponge seal by internal ostia or apophile. In cytokinetic canal system, the sponge seal is narrow, non-flagellated cavity lined by pinacocytes. It opens to the exterior through an excurrent opening called osculum this flow chart demonstrate the course of water current in cytinoid type canal system the ingressing water enters from the dermal ostia into incurrent canal and from the incurrent canals they pass through crossophiles into the radial canals and from radial canals the water enter into the sponge seal passing through apophiles from the sponge seal the water exits the sponge through osculum into the outside environment the third type of sponges are nucleonoid sponges that have the most complex canal system known as nucleon type canal system which results due to the further folding of body wall of the cytokinetic type of canal system In nucleonide sponges, the surface area of flagellated layer has been increased by the formation of many small spherical flagellated chambers within which the conocytes are located. 
while spongy seal is entirely absent in leukonoid sponges. As in the diagram here, you can see that the darker portion that is in black color are the chromocytes that are in the center of the flagellated chambers, while there is no spongy seal. In leukonite sponges, water enters the dermal pores on the body surface and passes through a system of inferent canals, eventually reaching the flagellated chambers to crossopies, as shown in the diagram here. As leukonite sponges have no sponge seal, we have discussed it earlier, the water leaves the body through converging excellent canals which are developed as a result of shrinkage and division of sponge seal. The flagellated chambers are connected with excellent canals through apopyes. And finally, the water is driven out of the excellent canal through osculum. This flowchart demonstrates the course of water current in lignite type canal system. As you can see here, ingressing water will definitely enter from the dermal ostia into the inferent canal passing through prosopyls, it will enter flagellated chambers. From the flagellated chambers, the water will enter excellent canal passing from Apopyles and from the excellent canal, the water is lead to osculum into the outside environment. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, kindly hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos with your friends and your classmates. Allah Hafiz.